Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to 2022 on my channel. I have had an extra long break because I have been thinking about what the next year is going to hold and just coming up with some strategies and things like that. I just need a little bit more time off, but I am back now. Thank you to you guys who have reached out to me, just checking how I've been going. I have had an extra long break, so apologies. I know that a lot of um, vloggers and influencers come back pretty early. I just needed that little bit more time. So let's get right into the video. Before I go on though, what do you think of my hair? I decided I needed a chop, I needed a change, I needed to regrow my hair from, well not from scratch, but basically chop off all the dead ends, all the years of bleaching and sort of start again. So still working out how to style it, but I'm enjoying the lower maintenance. So normally it would take me hours, absolute hours to wash, condition, blow dry, style, etc. And I was just getting over it. So I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna give myself a break from the hair and I kind of chopped it all off to a long bob, which is what I've wanted for a long time. All right, without any more hesitation and rambling on, let's get right into the video. This bag, guys, is a bag that, it's a designer brand that I do not have in my collection and I've never had in my collection. Can you have a guess what bag that is or what designer I'm talking about? I've never owned anything from this designer. Um, now, to give it all away, came in this box, Versace. If you guys have been around my channel for a while, you would have noticed that I do not own one single bag from Versace. Why is that? I'm not sure because I like a lot of their styles, but I think another bag just comes in the way and then I end up, you know, purchasing something else or ordering something else. But I thought it was time. I have been eyeing out these bags for a while now and I think it was time that I get one in. It's quite a big box. So when you open it, you're ready. Which bag did I get? Ta-da! It's called the La Medusa. La Medusa. I know that you guys um, do have issues seeing like scale and how big things are. This is the 26 centimeter size, which is 26 centimeters at the bottom, but it is quite a large bag. It's quite tall and there's quite a bit of depth on the sides. I actually think this is a very similar size to the Kelly, the MS Kelly bag in the let me see, it actually, I know the 32 centimeter size is a lot bigger, 32, 26, this is 26. However, the feel of this bag and the shape and the sizing is kind of the same. It's very, very similar in sizing. When I saw these out, probably, I don't know, maybe three or four months ago, I started seeing these in the beautiful colors. There's orange, there's a lavender, a gorgeous lavender color. Um, there's now pink and green. There's a blue, like a really bright blue, as well as like a baby powdery blue. There's also this in the black with gold hardware and a gold chain. They looked amazing. And to be honest with you, I actually had my eye on the lavender colored one, the purpley colored one. However, they didn't have any of those in stock um, when I was shopping for this, but I realized that I actually need a white bag in my collection. I need like a bright white bag and I need it in this kind of sizing. I've actually been contemplating on getting a Kelly. However, I just, there was a lot of off-white cream colors in the Kelly and I just didn't want to make a mistake. I wanted something really quite summery, beachy and white. So when I saw this one, I thought, you know what? This is perfect and it's got a bit of, you know, extra detailing, which really adds to the aesthetic of Versace. I think this really screams Versace, in my opinion, this kind of style, but yet it's still practical, it's still cool and modern, but there's still a timeless element. You could remove this strap and just have it as a normal um, top handle bag. There's also the shoulder strap, which is great. So imagine traveling, you know, you could definitely take this. I always think of the Gold Coast 
for you guys that are outside of Australia, the Gold Coast is, you know, beaches, sky rise apartments along the beach, very um, sandals, but very kind of, they call it, it, Brisbane they call Bris Vegas, and it's sort of just like because it's ritzy and glitzy and glamorous, but it's on the beach. So this kind of reminds me of that. There's also the Versace Hotel, which I'm not sure if, if it's still there, but when I was growing up, there was the Versace Hotel there and it was just amazing. There was Italian marble throughout, so much gold, like it was a very, very ritzy hotel. And at the time it was a six star hotel and it was the only six star hotel in Australia because everyone else was a five star hotel, but it was just on that next level. So my reasoning for getting a white bag was quite justified. I don't really have something in this size in a bright white. Um, I do have my Louis Vuitton cappuccines in the croc, but I find that bag not very casual. And I think it's because of the croc, the mock croc patterning. I find it really hard to style. So I'm hoping something in a plane like this would be a lot easier. I kind of also like the plastic um, chain. I know it's not super luxurious, you know, a plastic chain is quite chintzy, but there's something about it that I kind of think is quite cool. So this size is quite big. The back, there's no back pocket. There is Versace in gold just down the bottom here. The stitching is immaculate. The piping is on point, no complaints there. There's even the plastic Medusa. And I have to say, the black version of this with the gold is in a whole nother league. I think that one looks kind of more sophisticated, more mature lady type of a feel, whereas this is quite a young bag just because of all the plastic elements. Now, the surprise of the century, when you open this bag, and it's just got a magnetic closure with the little lip up the top as well. But look at this gorgeous lining. It is so beautiful. It's this beautiful lavender purple. And this is the color of the purple bag that I was sort of wanting. So it's sort of nice that I kind of get the purple in this bag. I have to say, I'm secretly glad because I know lavender purple bags like that for me and how I dress are really hard to style really really hard to style in my wardrobe just because i don't really wear colors like that that are complementary and it kind of requires a bit of thinking but this is gorgeous the straps have these beautiful gold toggles that stop this handle from popping through um, the detail on this is amazing this bag can actually be popped out what I mean is there's an extension here, which I'm actually going to do. And this will make the opening a lot larger. That's a really, really clever idea. So I've just changed these to the largest setting and now I can sort of open it all the way. You can kind of see there's a zipper pocket, really buttery zipper pocket at the back. I've got all my care stuff and labels and all that type of cards and things in there. And then the front is just a slip pocket, which is great for your phone. Um, really, really like this. So if you carry quite a bit, you may want to pop the opening so that it's a little bit larger and then you kind of just close it, you will find that there's more sort of fabric on the sides. And I think that's why they did it because they thought, well, the people that don't want this extra fabric can maybe make it smaller. There are no feet, but there are sort of leather protective tabs along the bottom. I believe this bag comes in three sizes, but this is called the medium, but I actually think this is the largest size. Um, that I remember seeing. I remember there's a, I think a 24 or a 23 centimeter, and I think there's also a 20 centimeter, like it goes even smaller. This is 26, but it actually looks a lot larger. Now I know my Kelly 32 is a lot larger of a bag, 
but the capacity down the bottom is very very similar you can sort of see along the base that the width of the bag and the volume inside is very very similar this one obviously comes up to a smaller point whereas this one's open but you know what I can kind of fit the same amount in both these bags so this is going to be a great holiday bag, I think, and a great kind of casual weekend bag. I think there's a fun element to this bag, um, particularly with the, the plastic strap and sort of the, the plastic sort of Medusa emblem there. But I can't wait to wear this one out. I think it's just going to be so easy to wear. I'm going away in a couple of weeks. I'm always going away whenever I film these videos, which is really strange. I just came back from the coast, so I went away for my birthday, and then I'm going next, not next week, but the week after. For Australia Day, I've been invited on a yacht in Sydney, so I'm going up there, and I think this would be perfect. Um, so I cannot wait. I'm actually thinking about the green one in the small size. I do have a few green bags, um, and I do love them. I just want something a little bit top handle that I can kind of hold and I think this would be kind of funky. These straps are also interchangeable, they come off so if you had another bag or if you had another version of this in a purple you could swap out the straps and I saw that on the runway a lot where the straps were kind of swapped out so there was an orange strap on one, a white bag and then there was a lavender strap on a orange bag etc so really really sort of fun play um in their styling so you will see mod shots here guys um i'm gonna hold this just top handle um so you can sort of see how it looks there's also this which could be a shoulder strap but personally i just think it's decoration um i will show you this in the crook of my arm as well and I'll also show you the strap on the shoulder. Now, bearing in mind, you can shorten this strap a little bit. I'm wearing it on one of the longer settings for the crossbody. Um, and then I will show you it crossbody. And this bag basically um, will be crossbodying with me when I'm traveling or out and about. Um, great thing is it's really easy to remove. It doesn't look like it's detachable, but there's just little buttons here that you can just sort of unclip and then remove the strap. So that'd be really, really cool as well. But the capacity of this bag is so big. I mean, I just think it's a great bag that is great for traveling because it fits that little bit more. There's also the accessories that can be taken out. I mean, you could swap this for a gold one. That would look super bougie. So there you go, guys. What do you think of the La Medusa bag from Versace in a medium size? Do you think you guys will be getting one of these? And if so, what color? They are so fun. I just couldn't resist. And I thought I would show you guys this new style and inspire you. I also think it's a really great design. Very similar to the Kelly as mentioned, but a lot easier to get in and out of with just one flap. But the volume and the size of the bag is great. I love how there's not, you know, heaps of compartments and sections because basically you can just dump everything in like a bucket. Might want to consider getting a insert for this just because it is a bucket. So you're not going to be able to organize your stuff unless they're in sort of little separate mini bags. There you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already on YouTube. I do two videos a week. And also head to my Instagram. I'm really prominent on there. I do lots of giveaways and polls and a whole lot more. And I hope to see you next time in my next video. Bye for now.